Hey, what's up guys? This is Ryan and uh, today I'm going to walk you through creating uh, your own custom skybox in Photoshop for Unity. Um, so we'll get started. I press create new. Try that one more time. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is um, create a panorama. Um, that's the easiest way um, to uh, create a skybox. Um, and uh, you want it to be equi-rectangular, which basically means that it is uh, twice as long as it is high. So um, in this case, um, the width of the image I'm creating is going to be 6,000 pixels. The height is going to be 3,000. I'm going to be at the, the display resolution of 72 pixels per inch. RGB color is fine, and I want it to be transparent. So I'm going to press create. And this is quite a big image, so I'm going to go down to 20. Um, just so I can see it all. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, pick a color for the sky, and I think it'll be in the yellows somewhere. And it's okay. And fill the back. It's okay, so um, let's take a look here. This is how uh, 40 inches, so it'll be about like 21. Uh, let's say I'm eyeballing it now, but okay, so. With the skybox, what it does is it creates a cube map. We're going to create a cube map out of this. So um, there's going to be a cube at the top here. So this is going to be like the part of the sky that is directly above your head. And down here is going to be the part of the sky that's below your feet. Um, while about the 50% line is, um, you know, where the horizon would be in your skybox. So um, the white I keep at the top because um, what happens is the thing that we use to c convert this um, will kind of pinch um, the texture together at the top. It kind of it's almost like a sphere point. Um, you'll see what I talk about in a little bit. But um, so I'm going to leave the white in the background. I'm going to add a layer on top, and I'm just going to make it like brown or like an earth color. Filter, blur. Oh, actually, I have to guess I should fill the color in first, huh? There we go. Select, deselect, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and let's go with. Uh, you know what? Ten's okay. I don't mind that. Okay. So now I'm just going to move this line out of the way. So most of our color going to be above this line. So I'm going to put it in between, so I'm going to insert another layer, and this time, let's go with this pink, I want it to be a little bit more red, I think, around here, I'm going to grab a brush, sure, that's good, I'm going to hold shift and then click and then drag this line across, and go filter, Gaussian blur, filter, I want to crank up the Gaussian, so I'm going to go back to the blur, Gaussian blur, change this to 20, 50, 50 is better. I'm going to try changing this to overlay, maybe multiply, there we go. So now it's going to kind of lay its color on top of the uh, white color, this one here. Actually, I'm going to drag it below, and this time I'm going to pick like an orange. And again, I'm going to make it much wider. And fifty looks pretty good. Gonna add a layer on top of that pink a little bit, and again, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. change it to multiply as well. I'm going to move it down a little bit so it connects with the pink. And I'm just going to play with these a little bit to see if I like anything else better. Ah, there we go. Linear burn looks good. Alright. And then I'm going to take some light pink. Actually, you know what? We'll go right into the 
right into the sky blue. Okay. And again, I'm gonna go with my brush. Wrap this one up again. That hundred is pretty good. And right about here. And filter blur. Gaussian blur. And that actually looks not bad. I'm change it to multiply. And I'm gonna tuck it down under the orange a little bit just to blend those two together. And I think that is about that. Now I could um, draw some clouds and stuff in here, but I just kind of want to demonstrate um, kind of how the skybox is going to work. So I'm going to go to save and save it on my desktop as sample sky. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Chrome and I want you to Google search panorama to cube map and choose the first item that comes up. This is a, uh, a GitHub implementation of um, someone's web-based uh, tool. So you're going to convert a 360 panorama to six cube faces and you're going to choose an image and then it says the image should be formatted with equal way rectangular projection. The image should have an aspect ratio of two to one. So with twice the height. Okay, so you're going to choose to choose my sample sky. I'm going to press open. Um, there are a couple different parameters here you can play with. Um, I'm just going to leave it on the default one. But it basically has generated uh, six cube maps for you. And you can see here um, PY, I think it's positive Y, positive on the Z, negative on the X, positive on the X, negative on the Z, and negative on the Y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on each of these and it's going to automatically download them for me. And I'm going to go into my downloads folder. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it sample sky. And I'm going to move them over there. Okay. And we're going to go into Unity. I've got a project open already. Um, so the first thing I want to do is you look at your main camera and you can see um, that uh, the camera is using a skybox. If we go into Window, Rendering, Lighting Settings, uh, under the Environment Scene Environment uh, drop down here, you can see Skybox Material is the default skybox. So that's what we're looking at here with the gray and the uh, light blue horizon. Um, so it's looking for a material, so we're going to create a material, but first I'm going to go into our assets uh, folder top level, right click, create a new folder, I'm going to call it textures, and I'm going to double click to open it, and then I'm going to open up my uh, uh, downloads folder here, select my sample sky folder, and I'm going to move it here. There we go. So it created a copy of the sample sky folder inside uh, my textures folder in the assets area. And now um, for each of these, and I'm going to hold, sh try and hold shift and change them all at the same time. So I shift and click them all. I'm going to change the wrap mode from repeat to clamp and press apply. So now if I just kind of thumb through them, they should all be set to clamp, which is excellent. I'm going to go back to my assets folder. I'm going to right click and choose create. And I'm going to create a folder first and call it materials. And then I'm going to create another folder inside and call it skybox. And then inside the material skybox folder, I'm going to press create again. And this time I'm actually going to create a material and I call it sample sky. And with my sample sky texture selected or material selected, um, you can see in the inspector its details here. You're going to change its shader to skybox six sided. And that's going to open up a panel here um, with a bunch of image selectors. So um, if you look at them front, back, left, right, up, down. So the easiest thing I can do is I know my up is going to be the white texture and my down is going to be the brown texture. So I'm going to press 
down first, and there you go, n down, negative y. And now up, positive y, cool, and then, uh, let's see here, we are right, but it's negative, so I want negative x for that one, and again, positive x here, so we're going to choose px. And then we're going to choose back. So back is a negative z, so it's nz. And the front is positive z, so pz for positive z. Okay, so we've saved our sample sky, and you can see the icons updated here. I'm going to go back into window, rendering, lighting settings, check out our default skybox. We're going to grab this material and drag it on there. And now, if we look at our scene, we have created our own custom skybox. So it's really simple, and you can really kind of play around with, uh, you know, how it's going to work for you. But you can see that the horizon line there is actually pretty close. Not too bad. I mean, you could gradate this as well. Like if you went from, actually should have been a good idea, if normally things that are in the uh, distance are lighter and things that are closer to you are darker so actually you could probably throw a gradient down the bottom here from a lighter earth color down to there um, although you know it may be covered up by whatever your mesh island is at the time but um, uh, you know it's uh, if you're using it as a working space then uh, it may be uh, able to create the illusion of land as well so that is it for creating a custom skybox in Photoshop for Unity. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Um, and thanks everyone. I hope you learned something today and uh, have a good one. See you next time.